Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. So this was a pretty good proper session. 150 kg squats, three sets of five. So that makes it a medium squat day. In my mind, I have a heavy day, obviously, which is, which will be around the numbers of 170, 180, 190, and whenever I get to 200. Medium would be 150, 160, maybe 140. There will be a light 100 to 120, but I just think of why do such a light squat. But uh, all in all, um, heavy, light, medium is a very uh, popular and used format. I probably will be using it more often. I will use light when I'm really tired and have no other option than to do a light squat. A medium squat uh, would also have one more lift, which is press or bench press. In this session, after doing, doing three sets of five, of 150 kg i did several sets of overhead press and inclined dumbbell press and that's why it is a proper session although it's not in the video i must say that when i'm going at the bottom of the squat i don't have pain at all but there is a little uh twist if you can see it doesn't bother me much i don't lose control uh, it is quite a kind of a bounce but my knees go uh, a little uh, I suppose my right knee goes a bit more forward than my left knee does, but it is not an issue. I think I need to have more control, more tightness in my trunk and stuff like that and just be more attentive. Otherwise, pain is gone. Uh, me doing BPC and TB500 from last four weeks has really uh, given good results. I'm quite pain-free. That's why I'm able to uh, perform these squats. So... That, that demands a separate video on my take uh, post finishing my cycle of TB500 and uh, BPC157. This is 150 kg first set. So you might see this at the bottom, you know, it just a little shift. Not bad in the second rep. So yeah, my journey, my road on 200 kg is going really well. I have made some really good performance um, um, in roads and sort of quite consistently and healthily achieved the numbers that I have. I think I started at 130 kg a few months ago and uh, yes, I've gone up to 190 kg and I will slow down a little bit. I just want you to see how I just chillax in between my sets. Just no phone, nothing. I just look around, get my breath back. I do spend a lot more time than most people would do. Uh, strength training is that you take longer time in between your sets. 150 kg is a decent weight for me and I want to be fully fresh. It is hard to go back. In normal bodybuilding and hypertrophy bro, gym bro training, you get 45 seconds, which is the formula. But uh, I take all the way up to five, six, seven minutes. I don't really care. I don't rush myself. And it was a big uh, session. As I said, I also did some overhead press. I think seven sets of overhead press after this and inclined dumbbell press. So my program is a mix of strength and a little bit of hypertrophy. You can call it. I would call it a high volume program. So yeah, I'm happy with the depth. And uh, looking good. Nice, good drive up pretty solid there you go right there then just tiny bit of move, movement forward but i think i can control this i just have to be more attentive of it so yeah um, i hope you're enjoying my road on 200 kg squat i am very close to 200 i've gone up to 190 kg but as it happens that when you are running and when you can see the finish line in the side one gets very desperate and just go goes for a big uh, charge uh, it doesn't work the same way in strength training so i will be curtailing curbing that enthusiasm uh, instead of going for 200 kg straight away i will spend some time in doing sets in 180 185 190 192.5 195 and then maybe 200 kg so i'm in no rush uh, that is one thing that strength training has taught me how to just make sure that uh, you just stick to the program the gains or the progress in strength training are harder as the weight gets heavier it is common sense 
but i don't think so it is simply uh, practical <laughs> for even people like me so you got to be careful as the weight gets heavier um, just have to i suppose practice and expose i keep saying this to my clients my friends and it's it's a kind of a saying i have in my own my own head expose yourself to that intensity which is what training is training is a very measured and a very well planned approach to expose yourself to some stresses and right amount of exposure not excessive not less than what is required and then as you expose yourself you get an adaptation so if i just take a little gas lighter and uh, turn it on and put my hand on top of the flame say 7 to 8 inches it'll burn me a little bit but i should be able to withstand the heat for for a few seconds maybe a minute and then if i do it again the next day i can maybe hold on for a lot longer than a few seconds so i'm exposing myself to a high temperature via a flame instead think of someone who will just douse themselves in petrol <laughs> and light themselves up that is also stress that is also exposing yourself to very very high temperatures on the very first day and you will burn and die i read this in an article written by austin baraki and it just makes so much sense so exposing yourself to stressful situations exposing yourself to heavy weights you have to do it step by step this method of doing it step by step is called programming and when you are actually applying your programming then it is training and uh, i have used this principle in many of my clients and friends and i don't forget to do it for myself uh this is a very good time that you see me right now in the gym just relaxing thinking about my next set my presses and uh, i just wanted to showcase that as well that within uh, the training realm when i do heavy reps there are sets which are heavy and in between i rest complete rest i just do not um distract myself with the phone or scrolling or anything like that i think it's a crucial part as a part of training that you have time in between your sets to reflect and not to get distracted this may not be the same in other forms of training like bodybuilding and hypertrophy where the benchmark is 45 seconds where it's all go 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 so it is not for every type of training don't get me wrong anyway guys hope you like this installment i am doing really well on my road to 200 kg squat and this is just a in between type of workout and i hope you like this video share and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you